As I walked through the abandoned theme park, a shiver ran down my spine. The once vibrant and cheerful place now lay in eerie darkness, with only the faint moonlight peeking through the clouds to guide my way. The sound of my own footsteps echoed through the desolate park, amplifying the sense of isolation that surrounded me. Little did I know that this night would be far from ordinary. It all started when I received a mysterious letter in the mail. The envelope bore no return address and was sealed with a crimson wax seal imprinted with a twisted smiley face. Inside was an invitation to visit the theme park after hours, an opportunity that I couldn't resist. The letter had an air of intrigue that compelled me to explore this forbidden realm, and so, with a mix of curiosity and apprehension, I found myself standing at the park's entrance long after the sun had set. The park's gates creaked open as I ventured inside, feeling an inexplicable pull into the darkness beyond. I moved cautiously, guided only by the faint glow of the moonlight and the flickering park lights in the distance. The air was heavy with an unnatural stillness, and a sense of foreboding hung over the entire place. As I made my way through the dilapidated attractions, the sound of laughter and joy that once filled this place haunted my ears. It was as if the memories of children's laughter lingered in the air, forever trapped within the decaying walls. Shadows danced across the broken rides, their twisted shapes giving birth to grotesque figures in my mind. Suddenly, a low growl reverberated through the silence, causing the hairs on the back of my neck to stand on end. I froze in place, straining to locate the source of the ominous sound. But there was nothing. The park remained as empty as it had been since I arrived, or so I thought. An unnerving sense of being watched washed over me, and I quickened my pace, desperate to escape the creeping dread. Yet, no matter how fast I ran, it felt as though I was running in circles, trapped in an eternal maze of horrors. Panic consumed me as the minutes turned into hours, and the park seemed to stretch endlessly before me. Just as I was about to succumb to despair, a pair of glowing eyes emerged from the darkness. A creature, tall and hunched, stepped into the dim light, revealing its nightmarish form. Its skeletal frame was covered in tattered rags, its elongated limbs ending in sharp, claw-like fingers. Its face, devoid of any humanity, bore a twisted smile that sent chills down my spine. I stumbled backward, desperately searching for an escape route, but there was none. The creature, with an inhuman agility, closed the distance between us in a matter of seconds. Its eyes locked onto mine, gleaming with an insatiable hunger. A guttural growl escaped its grotesque mouth, revealing rows of razor-sharp teeth. Fear rooted me to the spot as the creature lunged towards me, its claws slicing through the air. I closed my eyes, bracing for the impact that would seal my fate. But instead, I felt a sudden gust of wind and the sound of a loud crash. Opening my eyes, I found myself outside the park gates, the creature nowhere in sight. Gasping for breath, I realized that somehow, I had escaped the clutches of that horrifying entity. The park loomed behind me, a sinister silhouette against the night sky. I knew then that this was a place meant for darkness, a realm where nightmares walked among the abandoned rides. As I made my way back home, the memory of that creature haunted my thoughts, forever etched in.